guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the so many questions tag. Um, I was tagged by Claire from Penguin and Pear and Gemma from A Girl So Geeky. This tag was started um, in the Facebook group that I'm a part of called the Sewing Vlogger Support Group. And it was um, created by JJ from the Camden Stitch and the Specky Seamstress. And um, I'll put all their channels in the description box below. So there are 40 questions and you're supposed to choose 10 out of the 40 to answer. So the first one is how and when did you start sewing? Um, I started sewing my senior year of high school. I had already met all my requirements to uh, graduate, so I told my mom that I didn't want to take any more of these advanced classes that I've been taking the last three years of school and stressing myself out. So um, I saw that they offered a sewing class Called, like fashion design or something like that and um, I talked to my mom about it because my mom was really into academics and she said you know what just go ahead take that class it's your last year of high school go ahead and have some fun so that's what I did and I enjoyed it and I really wish I started that class my freshman year because it was a four-year course and like the first year teaches you just the basics but I don't know I was too busy taking like advanced math and all these dumb classes and I didn't even go to college after high school okay anyways uh, next question do you have any pet helpers um, I do I have three dogs I have Pepper she's a black Labrador retriever Morton he's an English setter and then I have Peanut she's a rat terrier um, I call her my tiny beast because she's like guys she's insane this dog she's crazy but I love them. <coughs> My house is a circus, but it's great. I love coming home and they're just like, run to me. It's fantastic. All right. Number three, what's your dream job? Um, okay, you guys, don't judge me. I'm almost 30 and I literally have no idea what I want to be <laughs> when I grow up. So, yeah, I joined the military right outside of high school, and this is what I've been doing. This has been my career for the last 10 years, and I don't know what I want to do when I get out. So, growing up, I wanted to be a veterinarian, um, and I don't know. By the time I retire, I'll be at least 38, and I think that I'll be, I keep telling myself I'll be too old to go back to school to be, to go to vet school. But, I don't know. Age is just a number, right? So, sorry, I know I'm making this really long. So I'm just going to say my dream job is something to do to work with animals. That's what I want to do is work with animals. Whether it be a veterinarian, a vet technician, a zookeeper, <laughs> anything to work with animals. Alright, number four, where do you sew? Um, I sew here um, in the basement of our house. And I'm actually very fortunate that I have this big space down here to sew because at my last house, my husband and I shared a really small guest bedroom. Um, and so when we moved, we knew that we wanted a basement so that we could put like his computer because he sits right behind me with his computers and I sit here with all my sewing stuff. Alright, number five, woven or knit. Um, I like sewing with both, but I really prefer wovens. I find that it's easier for me to keep the fabric together. Um, I don't have to worry about anything stretching out. Um, I just prefer that. Alright, number six, who do you sew for? Um, I sew mainly for myself and also for like kids or babies. Um, if, my, if someone approaches me and asks me to. Um, I don't really sew for, like, adults just yet because I'm still learning about how to, like, you know, fit garments. So with, like, babies and children, you don't have that problem because they're pretty much straight. Whereas, like, a woman or a man has curves. So, yeah, myself and anybody, any tiny human. Okay, number seven, printed or PDF. Uh, if you guys saw my seamstress tag, um, I did say I liked PDFs, but now that I've been sewing for a while, I think I prefer printed. Um, especially now that I'm making, like, adult garments. I don't have time to print and put together 40 pages of PDFs. So, printed all the way. 
Um, number eight, favorite pattern company. My favorite indie pattern company would be Grainline Studio. And um, of the big four, I really enjoy Simplicity's patterns. Uh, number nine, Dream Sewing Machine. That would be a Brother sewing machine. I forget the name of it, but I have like a picture of it hanging up because it's like a goal that I want to reach because this sewing machine costs $7,000. It's a lot of money. Um, so that's why it's a dream. It's a goal. <laughs> but yeah, it's like the Brother dream machine and it does like sewing and embroidery. So it's kind of like a two-in-one, but that's my dream machine. Um, I won't be getting that for a while because that's really outside my budget. <laughs> Alright, and number 10. Roughly how many makes a month? Um, I don't know. So, <clears throat> I am gone from home one week a month at least. So that week is pretty much I can't do anything. So if I'm making more like advanced more complicated patterns, um, I'll probably make one to three garments a month. Or if they're more simple, probably like three to five. I don't think I ever make more than five garments um, a month. All right, quick fire questions. Favorite fashion designer? I, I don't have one. <laughs> um, you know what, myself, I'm my favorite fashion designer. <laughs> Number two, heels or flats? Um, flats. Although I do love high heels. I have a bunch of high heels that never really get worn. But every day, um, I'm, it's flats. Ice lolly or ice cream? I don't really know what an ice lolly is. Um, I mean, so we have in the States what we call a popsicle. So is ice lolly what they call popsicles in the UK? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go with ice cream. <laughs> Uh, Paris or New York. Um, I haven't been to either one of those, but I would prefer to go to, to New York over Paris. Uh, gym Bunny or Couch Potato. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, let's just, I'm going to go with Gym Potato because <laughs> I go to the gym, but I'm not in there every day and I'm not in there for hours and hours. And I do enjoy sitting on the couch eating potato chips, but so I'm kind of in the middle. I'm going to Gym Potato. That works. Current box set, um, I'm not really watching a box set right now, but when I've been sewing, I've been putting on The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel in the background. Um, I binge watched the two seasons that are on Amazon right now, and now I've just been like having it on repeat in the background. Um, and the last quick fire question is tea or coffee? Definitely tea. Coffee and I don't get along. It makes me jittery. It's because I think the caffeine is so high. I'm, I, I'm kind of sensitive to caffeine. Because um, even like the teas that I drink have to be zero or really low caffeine. <laughs> Alright, and then the last part is two truths, one lie. Um, so let's see. I'm terrified of rides that just drop you because I almost died <laughs> in Disney's Tower of Terror. Um, and that ride just drops. Let's see. I'm allergic to chocolate, and I was on the front page of um, Florida Today because when I was 12, I met President Bill Clinton, so my little sister and I uh, were on the front page of the newspaper with him. So, yeah, which one of those do you guys think is the lie? Um, let me know in the comment below. In the comment below. Let me know in the <laughs> comment section below. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tag three more ladies. I'm going to tag um, Sherry from Sew and Share, uh, Devin Thread Tales, and um, Main Course. And I'll put their um, channels in the description box below. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't hit forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Megan.Handmade. Um, over there I share lots of pictures of my dogs <laughs> and um, just things that I've been making. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today and I'll be seeing you um, in my next video. Bye!